when I think about why you would choose our program over a lot of other options out there. Um, there's really uh, a number of characteristics that I think we, we manage to balance really well uh, in our program. So, for example, we have the online delivery, uh, which makes it very convenient for working adults and most of our students have jobs, have families, uh, but want to pursue this degree. And so the online delivery lets that happen whenever it works into their schedule. And so in sort of eight-week segments, you take one course at a time, um, and then you work your way through the 10 courses over the space of two academic years and two summers. In each course, most of it is going to happen online. So every week, there are some, some video modules or video lectures that you're going to watch, and then there's going to be some discussion with your professor, with your classmates, uh, and then of course there's some papers and exams and all those kinds of things built in there too. Uh, and then again, for each class during the eight weeks where you're going to be mostly online, um, and you can do those online components uh, at various times. If you can only work on the weekends, you can do that. If you need to do weeknights, you can do that. Um, but then in each course, one weekend um, for each class, you can come on campus if you're able and then do some work with your classmates and instructors in person. And then if you're not able to do that, you can uh, do online versions. Um, the MTS degree is, is the option that most people choose, and it's really designed for people um, who just want a, a broad, general um, background in theology on a graduate level. Um, it's really designed for people who are wanting to um, strengthen their abilities as teachers or as catechists. Um, and also for people who just want to have a deeper understanding of their faith. There are some uh, particular courses in there that are going to emphasize um, how to effectively teach, uh, how to effectively uh, connect um, the theological studies you're doing with everyday life, or if you're a teacher, the kinds of questions that students are typically going to ask in a classroom. Um, the MA program um, has a lot of those same components to it, but it's designed more for students who have a real interest in, in going deeper and doing some more original research. So in most of the classes, the, the paper requirements for the MA students are going to be a bit more rigorous. Um, and then at the end of the program, uh, MA students, there's a, a comprehensive exam uh, that they will do and then they ultimately write a thesis um, where they are really going to immerse themselves in studying a particular topic. Um, which many of the students find to be kind of the most enjoyable part of the program in a lot of ways is to really get out there as scholars themselves and do some work. For the MTS, all that you need is a, a bachelor's degree from an accredited university, um, and that's pretty much the main requirement. Uh, if you want to do the MA in theology, then we ask for people to um, provide a little more uh, background in terms of having a a bachelor's in an area related to theology like history or religion or philosophy. Uh, and then we also ask for uh, a writing sample. But if you're interested in the MA and you don't have those things, we can certainly discuss um, entering it conditionally uh, and that if you're able to do the MA level work, we're certainly able to allow you to, to do that. The program's really designed for um, giving people a, a deeper grounding in their faith and um, being able to um, understand it, explain it, answer questions about it. Uh, and so really we typically have kind of, of two sorts of people who are looking for that, right? So there are those who are working as teachers or as catechists. Um, so we have lots of DREs or RCIA instructors or school teachers who will do the program who want to be able to be more confident when they are presenting uh, the faith when they are answering questions from high schoolers or adult uh, RCIA students or whoever. Um, and so we really, the program was initially created um, with those people in mind to give them that extra grounding that would allow them to be able to do those jobs um, really well. Um, but we also want to help uh, and serve people who aren't necessarily doing that or at least aren't doing it now who just want to have a better understanding of, of their faith uh, and how it applies to a lot of the questions and problems we have in, in modern America.